Hey everybody, welcome back to Chill Tech. So I wanted to do a video showing you all how I got my always on display setup on my Galaxy device. It's really cool. So basically when the always on display comes on, I have a wallpaper set. This is the normal lock screen and I have it set to switch between two different pictures. This one here and my boy Goku here. So once the lock screen fully locks, you're gonna have this really cool look and it looks amazing, especially on the Fold 4. This is gonna work with any Samsung Galaxy device. So grab your phone and follow this tutorial. Works just fine on the outer display as well. And yeah, it just looks really, really cool. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial here. All right, so first things first, go ahead and open up the Google Play Store. And once you get inside of here, um, go ahead and click on the search. And here's what we're going to be typing in. A O D wallpaper. All right there. And then put Samsung behind it. And this is going to pull up an application here. It's by the echo. This application was so good. I emailed the developer directly and told them that it was fantastic. And I've been looking for this ever since the 14 pro max came out and they actually responded, uh, which is cool. So once you go ahead and get this application downloaded, it is going to let you know to try to pick two different images as far as so that you don't have uh, like you don't run the risk of screen burning. Basically, let me obviously kind of rotate this display. Here we go. So if you want to set your own pictures, here is where you'll do it. You can actually set, um, after you pick the two pictures that you want, you can actually set like how much you want it to be. I actually prefer to keep my set to right above that number one there. Now let me close out the list and show you which ones come with the application because before you even get to picking your own, it actually comes with a bunch of different ones here, which look really nice. And I'm gonna show you what these look like. So let's start with this purple one here. So once you pick one that you like, you just go ahead and hit set and it's gonna automatically set it. It's really easy. And this is gonna set on, if you're using a foldable, it's gonna set for the main display and for the outer display. Now, if you wanna set like um, transparency for this picture, I like mine set lower and I'll show you a different setting too. If it's very bright, you're gonna get a certain look. I'll show you what it looks like if you do not turn it down. So here's what it looks like. I'm gonna lock the screen. And this looks really, really nice. So I really prefer this look here. Same thing if you were to close the device, it's still gonna look really good. So after you fully lock your device, that's when you're gonna see the image that you pick. I really like this one. This is one of the first ones that I tried on the main display of the Fold. I really love how this looks cause it just zooms in and just looks so cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to setting your own pictures though. All right, so after you have played around with that one, when you hit the plus here on the bottom right, that's when it's gonna take you here and it's gonna show you this all the time. I think that this looks really, um, this is a good thing to read. I've never experienced any burning with this application. And so that part is good. So when you get to this screen here, um, if you got if you get the full version of it, um, it's gonna let you pick two images. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the first one and select an image. Go ahead and pick gallery or wherever it is that you want to pick your picture from. Okay, so now I'm inside of a photo album here. So let's say I want to go ahead and go with this picture here. Now, if you're using any regular Samsung Galaxy, whatever is inside of this window that you set here is how it's going to look. So very easy. With the foldable, it's a little bit more tricky because when you have your main display, it's going to zoom in a bit. And it's kind of into that middle main square. So make sure that you kind of set things particularly. What I'm going to do right now is kind of come here above his eyebrow and kind of put this point here. I'm going to see how this looks. So once you get it set to the way that you like, just go ahead and hit crop. And that's it. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick the second image. Same thing, choose gallery or wherever it is that you want to get your picture from and navigate to the album and the photo that you want to choose. All right, so I've navigated to this picture here. I'm going to go ahead and set this one here. I'm going to zoom in some because again, I'm using a foldable. So I need to be mindful that it's two different aspect ratios that I'm working with. Any normal Galaxy phone, like any normal slab phone, and it should just be this main section here. So once you get the section that you want for the photo, go ahead and hit crop. And that's it. Now you got your pictures. It's giving you a little preview of it. Come here and let's set the transparency. I don't recommend that you keep it fully up. I personally like it to be here, but of course you play around with the settings and put it to where it is that you like for it to be. But me personally, I like it to be uh, right here, right above that number one. And once you're finished, just go ahead and hit set. 
It's gonna say successful, and from there, we'll go ahead and go home. Now, when you uh, lock your screen here, I'll show you what this looks like. So here is the picture that we set. Um, so you can see how on the main display here, it actually captured his face really nice here. So I like how this turned out. So that looks good. Here's a second image, also looks really nice too. And if you're on the foldable, you can check it on the outside, looks really good. I'll go ahead and lock it again, check the second picture. Also looks really good. Now here's another tip that I wanna show you all when it comes to dealing with the always on display. And what it is, is if you actually tap on this clock, on your always on display, you can tap here on the A and you can actually change the brightness. So if you don't like it to be very bright, you can turn it down. But I like that you actually get this control for how bright um, your always on display wallpaper and clock is gonna actually be. So this could be nice. Um, and I'll show you exactly how to get to this. It's right inside the settings and it's very easy. It works whether you're on the main display or whether you are on the, uh, whether you're on the outer display. <laughs> All right, so double tap the clock. And once you see that A, just tap on that. And here you can change the brightness. So if you like to see a nice bright image, there you go. When you come back to your main um, always on display, it's gonna look like this. So to get here, what we're gonna do is open up the settings application. And then we're actually gonna go to, should be a lock screen, here we go. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go to always on display. I personally have mine set from uh, just to be on for these hours here. I'm normally sleep after 2 a.m. So there's no point in just staying on all night. So I like my room to be darker. So I actually have mine set for that schedule. But anyways, uh, once you come in here, you're gonna come here where it says auto brightness. If you turn that on, then it's going to decide how bright you want it to be. If it's turned off, then you can adjust it just like it says by double tapping the clock on the always on display. So this is a neat way to actually be able to control the always on display yourself. I love that Android gives you this capability. So just keep in mind that if you want that to, if you wanna have that control for how bright you want the image to be, that um, yeah, you have that tool. It's right in your arsenal, just go right into settings. Anyway, this was just a quick video. I wanted to show you all for a while now, so glad I was able to get around to uh, making this video. Just make sure that you support that developer because this is a really cool feature and it's the only application that I found on the App Store that lets you keep Samsung style of the clock that you can actually make as well as give you a wallpaper in the back. So I really love this application. Super happy that they made it. So definitely go and support them. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in another video.